come up to me and said, oh, Tom, you take yourselves a little Tom. Let's go with Neil, good luck. Red and black. Sarah Higgins sending the silver and the this side of the world, five two-minute run. Hey, however, it's also worth pointing out that she won those titles. Decent angling. Win over Kylie Fulmer back in December. Robertson going for a first win or so, so hoping to get out of this fight unscathed, not just win. The fourth round of our last fight. Coming through from Taylor Robertson, working the body there, and then pushing Higginson back a little bit. Higginson answering. Busy schedule. I'm saying, you, you often, but you don't often hear trainers kind of assume the responsibility that maybe he made that fight too soon in her career, that maybe he allowed her to go too far up in weight, but also tactically thought that Robertson was ahead on the scorecards when she wasn't. But having an easier time, you may not learn as much. Begun between Taylor Robertson in the black and red and Sarah Higginson in the purple and the silver. And that left hand frequently trying to set some backstory and entry point to boxing her father passed away due to diabetes here in round three well that's always she's finding those particularly more so in this hand and the there's right hand, hand from robertson as higginson came forward did precisely what we were talking about there action out of the clinch left hand side swipes higginson another left side that she needs to kind of sell out a little bit if she wants any hope of pulling this one out. A quote that you kind of only see in this part with the five here in the flyweight contact going for it. Robertson moving her with that jab on what to go. The rush to stop Higginson. Higginson moving forward. But I think Robertson has made a, a good impression on a big stage. And probably the biggest audience of those three fights. Red Corner!